My name's Tom Dunmore and this is Stuff's exclusive review of the Apple iPhone 4, which goes on sale later today. Now we've got a full text review at stuff.tv, but here are the five things that you absolutely, positively have to know about the iPhone 4. First of all, the iPhone 4 feels different. It's not simply a tweak to the old iPhone 3GS, it's been totally redesigned. Gone is this nasty plastic back, and in are these amazing strengthened glass on both sides. Uh, it's also much thinner than the iPhone 3GS, but it doesn't really feel it, because it's got these hard edges rather than the curves. What it does feel like is a seriously luxurious premium object of desire much more so than the 3GS. Now, Apple has redesigned the inside, too. It's powered by the same A4 chip that runs the Apple iPad, so everything moves incredibly quickly. Launching into apps has no lag at all. The camera, for instance, launches much, much quicker on the iPhone 4 than it does on the 3GS. The second thing you need to know about the iPhone 4 is that the screen is out of this world. I guarantee you'll never have seen anything like it. It's got the same screen size as the old iPhone, but it's got twice the number of pixels. There are 326 pixels per inch. That's more than the human eye can perceive, so no matter how close you hold it, you simply can't see the dots. It's better quality than print, and it means that the pictures are full of detail, and text is incredibly crisp. Even on old apps, uh, where the graphics look a little bit fuzzy because they're at the old resolution, the text is incredible. Now, the iPhone 4 doesn't have an AMOLED display, so it doesn't benefit from some of the power-saving features that you'll get in something like the HTC Desire, but the LCD display on the iPhone 4 is incredibly bright and has a really high viewing angle. And you'll see that the white color is, uh, is a lot whiter on the iPhone than it is on the HTC Desire. The third thing you need to know about the iPhone 4 is that it works better as a phone, which will come as a huge relief to iPhone users. Call quality is much improved because they've got an extra microphone at the top of the iPhone that picks up and filters out ambient noise. Apple has also moved the aerial to the outside. These uh, steel rims act as aerials. There's uh, a mobile phone aerial here on the left-hand side, and on the right-hand side, you've got Wi-Fi and Bluetooth. And that means that the reception is slightly better, although it's still sometimes a bit patchy. The fourth thing is that the new iPhone 4 is a video star. Apple has really improved the camera on the back, which now is 5 megapixels and uh, has a flash. Actually, pretty decent low light conditions for still photography because it's a bigger image sensor. And they've also put a camera on the front. But the key thing is that you can record from the back HD video at 720p, and the quality is up there with, in fact, better than the Flip Mino HD. Plus, you get to edit the movies that you've taken using iMovie. Now, this is a downloadable app. You'll have to pay for it, but it's incredibly easy to use and allows you to very simply put bits of video together, trim them, put in transitions, and then save it out and upload it to YouTube. It's incredibly intuitive and easy to use. Apple has also introduced FaceTime, which is video calling. Now, this only works over Wi-Fi and only to other iPhone 4 users, so at the moment, it's not massively useful, but as more and more people get them, it might well be. Whether video calling will ever be mainstream, I'm not totally convinced, but there's no doubt this is the easiest way so far. The fifth thing you need to know about the iPhone is it's not perfect. It does have flaws. Most obviously, it's a victim of its own success. You'll be so app-happy that you'll burn through battery life. 
Now, Apple has increased the size of the battery in the iPhone 4, but they've also increased the draw that the screen takes from it, so you'll still have to charge your iPhone every day. There are a few other irritating things as well, like the fact that you can't control the camera with these buttons. You still have to click the soft button on the screen, so you're never quite sure when you've taken a picture. But so many of the flaws of the iPhone have been fixed with the new version of the software, iOS 4, which adds in things like folders, so you can store thousands of apps, and also multitasking, which allows you to uh, control your music, even if it's Spotify, have that running in the background, or monitor for Skype calls. All in all, Apple has leaped ahead of the competition again with the iPhone 4. It is a truly amazing phone, the king of smartphones. It's not cheap, but if you can afford it, you've got to get one.